understand it. Can you explain it to me? The number of what guys? Oh, speak to the devil. Look who finally gets to show up after two weeks. Where you been, partner? Doing my own thing, partner. Doing your own thing, you weren't backing me up like you were supposed to do. See, and that's the, <clears throat> that's the point I've been making here, Cecil. Without me, you can't do it. You just can't. I'm did, I need, did I need your help to win the UWC Heavyweight Championship? No. Did I need your help against Derek Moss to get into the Horizon Cup Tournament? No. I don't need your help. You need mine. Oh, you so sure about that? Yeah. Well, how come your hand wasn't raised when you faced Harker? That's what I want to know. Because with me there, you know... That you, you can't do any better. Oh, I can't. You can't do any better. You, you sure can't beat Harker either. Are you sure about that? Yeah, if you can, prove it. Positive. Prove it. Oh, prove I'm it. Prove it. Your voice irritates me. Now... I'm going to go out there, I'm going to call out Parker, and I'm going to win. Why? Because I'm just simply better than you. And those, my friends, you need to look nice. Those, my friends, are called facts. So, my name's Conrad. Nice to meet you. He, 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 did he touch my... Hold on, let's talk about this touching face thing. Contest here for this edition of UWC Online. Johnstone sitting up here with the champ, Blake Reed. Well, it's about time you had a superstar of my caliber in the announcing booth. Well, we've asked you before, but you always said you're too busy. I'm very busy. I got a lot of things going on. Of course, this is the opening contest here. It is not a Horizon Cup tournament match. However, last week, Aaron Matthews was able to advance in the Horizon Cup tournament, which is a big deal for him. Yeah, what happened last year at the Rising Cup? Yes, we all remember you won that. Oh, you I won did. Won the whole thing. Oh, okay. Side headlock now on the part of Tornado Jones on Aaron Matthews. This is going to be a matchup about perseverance, respect between both of these individuals. Aaron Matthews now with a top foot lock, taking Tornado Jones down to one knee. None of this impresses me right now. None of this impresses you, why not? Well, look at him. They're no Blake Reed. No, they're no Blake Reed, but I guarantee you one of these men could one day find themselves standing opposite the ring of you, gunning for your championship. You, 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 funny you say that, because I'm pretty sure both have been in the ring with me and both of them went down. One, two, three. Speaking of going down, shoulder block sends TJ down. Jumping right over him. Nice leapfrog attempt, catches himself on the ropes. Up and over, caught on the ringside area. Shoulder to the midsection now. Looks like he's gonna go a little springboard action back into it. Oh, the moisture and the resistance of the ropes kind of stumbled up a little bit. Yeah, I just called a mess up. Down to the floor, rolls him back into the ring. Aaron Matthews with that forearm shot. This will be a big victory. Oh, wait a minute. Two. Only a two count. This could be a big victory for either one of these gentlemen here tonight. Irish whip off the rope, sends him in, ducks under the lariat, hits the other side, ducks under a back elbow, springs up to the ropes. Hurricane Rana! Misses with the moonsault attempt. Another Hurricane Rana answers back. Into the iron strip, straight into the ropes, trips him up. Very nice move there on Aaron Matthews. That's very original. I don't never see that work. A minute, two. But I guess when you get to go 100 miles a minute, it's easy to trip somebody up. This is going to be a matchup of speed versus speed. Who has the better speed game? Who has the better agility? Rolls out of the way there. Drop kick to the face. I felt that once. It didn't feel good. 
Aaron Matthews answering back with a running Larry. What would be your game, Blake Reed, if you were to step into the ring for the title later in the future against maybe an Aaron Matthews or a Tornado Jones? What would be your game plan? Plain and simple. Ground and pound. Keep them on the mat. They can't do any of that flippy stuff. I can't get hurt. Only a two count there. Very impressive superplex from the top rope by Aaron Matthews. Ducks underneath the Larry to tempt there. Rolls him up into a back pin. Two. Only gets a two count now. Tornado Jones going for the pin attempt. Rolling right through. Another pin attempt here. Three of them in a row. Double leg takedown. Rolls over. O'Connor Roy into a... Only a two count. Wait a minute. Rolls over into his own two. Kind of slipped off of him at that point. Ducks out the Larry and attempts, hits the ropes. Rolls him up. Two. He got him. Oh. My God. That came out of nowhere. Joshua, that wasn't an RKO. No. It doesn't come out of nowhere. No, but the victory did. I told you it was going to be a speed versus speed, but I didn't expect that. UWC Online is taking over the world of social media. Connect with all of our fans through the official Facebook page, facebook.com slash UWC Georgetown. Watch all the past and current episodes of UWC Online on our official YouTube page. Get late breaking news and notes when you follow at UWC Georgetown on Twitter. And check out the photographs and still shots from our world class photographer on our official Instagram page. UWC Online, a truly interactive experience. Well folks, I'm standing here with Sean Reif and Sean just a couple of weeks ago, you had your first match here, your first official match. I did, I did, I sure did. And it was against champion Blake Reed. And yeah. yeah so it didn't was... necessarily go the way you'd hoped. Uh, well, I didn't walk away with a win, but I really thought I gave it my all, and I thought I, you know, I showed him. I, I can be in that ring with everybody else. Well, you did. And then here tonight, you're getting another opportunity to showcase your skills. Another match tonight? Oh, yeah. Yes! <laughs> yeah, I'm going to show them all. I'm going to show them all why I deserve to be in that ring. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, good luck, buddy. I hope you can do Th it. Thanks. Thanks. All right. I'm... Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, Sean Rife in an unexpected matchup with a man who not too long ago oh, punched him in the face as hard as he could. Bo Sawyer. Johnson, I believe that was a chop, not a punch to the no, face. No, 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 no. I'm talking about what happened weeks ago. It was a giant punch to the face. Oh, I thought a couple weeks ago when I taught Sean Rife a lesson. Yeah, you were his first official opponent in Sean's first official match here at UNC Online. Fans here at the Battle Zone, not fans of Bo Sawyer. Conspicuous and what do they know? What do they know? They don't know nothing. Conspicuous by his absence in this match is one Jimmy Carrick. Jimmy Carrick and Bo Sawyer over the last several weeks seem to have formed some, formed some sort of a friendship or a partnership. Oh! Running European uppercut in the corner. John Rice sends him into the corner. He's going for it again. Whoa! That just shows how much better I am. Sean Rife trying to go for an arm drag of some sort. Bo shoves him. Oh! There it is, that punch to the face, just like I was talking about earlier. And he got it. Horizon Cup Tournament. Gotta say it was almost academic here. That 
that one straight shot to the face sent Sean Rive down for the second time in two months. for Sean Rive. That's twice. Two different outings. This time it was Bo Sawyer. Last time it was you who put him on his back. UWC Online. New episodes every Monday. YouTube.com slash UWC Georgetown. Not too long ago, you had the biggest moment of your entire career when you were able to beat a former champion, Jimmy Carrot. And then after that, lightning struck twice and you were able to do it again. But after that happened, everything kind of snowballed on you. You started to go downhill a little bit. You lost to Jimmy Carrot for a third time because of Bo Sawyer. Jimmy Carrot and Bo Sawyer both left you and Joey O'Reilly laying in the ring. And out here tonight, you suffered a loss at the hands of Aaron Matthews. I mean, what's next for you? tell you exactly what's next. I'm going to win the Horizon Cup. Did you, did you guys miss me last week? All right, well, a couple weeks ago, we got to watch Cecil here take on Harker Dirge. I almost beat it. You lost, though. You lost. All right, all right, all right, shut up. Shut up. Anyway, like I was saying, a couple weeks ago, Cecil got to take on Harker. I got to uh, take some notes on, her, uh, on how he did. Well, well, tonight, Conrad here wants to show me what he's got. You need to see what I... So, uh... He's got a challenge to make himself. So it's uh, it's your turn to take on Harker. Are we about to see Conrad versus Harker Dirge? Well, if I know a thing or two about Harker, I've, I've, I've uh, wrestled him a few times. I'm pretty sure he's going to answer the challenge. But look at Cecil. Look at what's going on. He's saying you're on your own, buddy. I'm not even going to stay out here with you. What? If I taught Cecil anything, he's got something up his sleeve. He's got something up his sleeve. Bradley Dupree, don't count him out. I've had run-ins with him in the past. We hear the music playing. Harker Gurns making his way to the ringside area. Wait a second. Up from behind. Oh, I knew it. I knew they were going to try something. Parker cut him off. Cecil Gervaisa running away like a scared chicken. Now he thinks, oh, he's a big man. Not, not a chicken, one. a smart man. A smart man doesn't step to a man in spite. Come on now. Oh, yeah, but he's a big man right now. He's willing to go two on one. Ready to fight anybody, he don't care who you are. Here we go, an unofficial matchup here. Conrad taking on Harker Dirge. Cecil Cerveza and Bradley Dupree on the outside. Uh-oh. I don't think that's a good thing you want to do is shove Harker into a corner like that. You know, I kind of have to agree with him. One. Maybe oh. a guy as size as Conrad should be pushing Harker around like that. Well, Conrad is learning his lesson right now already. Harker's taking him straight to school. Of hard knocks or? If you want. All right. Shot right there by Harker. Shots right to the face. Conrad not really expecting to get this much of a fight tonight, but when you're in the ring with someone like Harker Dirge, and he's choking him with a top rope. 
almost. Blatantly, he's choking in front of the ref. They just refs just letting him do it. What kind of ref we got here? Come on now. Irish whip into the ropes now. Back elbow sends him down. That was me choking the ref. They'd be on me right away. What is it that Conrad needs to do right now? Ooh, head first into that top turnbuckle. Hang on for that answer. Oh, 10 times into that top turnbuckle. Uh-oh. Larry, it sends him down to the canvas and onto the floor. Sees the surveys on the outside, trying to wake his partner up. Now, as I started to ask you, Blake Reed, you are the man who was able to defeat Harker Durge and become the champion. What is it that Conrad needs to do right now? What sort of game plan does he need to start up in order to gain a victory over Harker? Well, see, the first the first game plan you have, you have to realize you have strength in numbers. Look, you have three of your, you have two associates on the outside. You know, maybe you get them involved and you throw a little bit of tactics uh, for Conrad and, and probably get the upper hand from there. Parker with a side headlock now. Conrad tosses him off into the rope. Cecil Cerveza trying to trip him up, but Harper's too smart for that. Oh! Clock to the back of the neck. That's another one. Conrad now all offense, kind of taking Harker a little bit off his game. Front face lock applied, going for a vertical suplex, sends him up and over. Into a two count. Clubbing blows right to the sternum in the midsection area on Harker now. Ooh! Running headbutt right to the back of the arm almost, the shoulder blade. Stomping away now. Conrad has always been so ready to prove himself here at UWC Online. Ready to showcase that he deserves to hang with the big boys here. Another front face lock, another vertical suplex up and over. That's two vertical suplexes Conrad has delivered to Harker Durge in this match. Could be an upset. Only a two count. Gotta stay on him. He's gotta stay on him. Can't let him breathe. Almost a sleeper hold applied. Referee Mike Underwood might want to check, make sure it's not a blatant choke. Just like I see from here, it's not a blatant choke. Stop trying to say he's cheating. Oh, you've had your LASIK surgery? I have. And every other type of surgery you can think of. Fans in the battle zone doing their best to rally Harker Dirge to feed him the energy. Looks like it must be working. Oh! Conrad cuts him off. Running into the corner now. Forearm shot. Told you, you gotta stay on him. Can't let these fans roll him up. Uh-oh, gonna go for a third one. This may not be a... Uh, that's probably not a good move. Uh-oh. Oh! Harker Durge able to counter it into a suplex of his own. Almost a brain buster. Parker's back into it. He's looking on the outside. He's staring at Conrad. Yeah. Running clothesline. There's the double. Drop kick city. I ain't got no comment. Wait a minute. Look at Cecil Cervais up on the ring apron. This is exactly the disadvantage Harper walked into in this match. What is that what you got to do? Here we oh, go. It's over for Harper now. Come on. Don't let this happen. Ho! Well, leave it to Tweedledee and Tweedledum to mess it up. Harper Dirt's too smart for them. Going for that DDT from the second row. Combined efforts of Cecil 
Cecil Cerveza and Bradley Dupree at ringside. Harker Dirt still finds a way to win. You know why he didn't win? Why's that? He's not Blake Reed. What a matchup we have seen. What a night we have had here at UWC Online. And look in the ring right now. Conrad Cecil in a shoving match. This is not good. Both men are trying to blame the other for the loss. Plain and simple, they both messed it up. I honestly can't believe what I'm seeing right here. These two are about to come to blows.